is what happens when you go shopping with Sabrina. My girly girly likes to just buy things and likes to travel and explore and all that good stuff. Get me out of here. What's up, dogs? Welcome to Mikasa Belkanio Balcony. That's how it's giving me a weird look. That's not how you say balcony in Italian, right? How do you say balcony in Italian? Balcone. How do you say porch in Italian? Portico. Are you serious? How do you say table in Italian? Tavolo. Table? A bike? How do you say bike? Bicicletta? Bicicletta. <laughs> really? Uh, tell me something Italian. How do you say light in Italian? Leggera. I can't remember. You're pretty so much background. I tried with the Italian, and now looking back at it, shit was cringy. I tried, okay? The reason I was trying to do all this Italian was because Sabi is Italian, and I tried to impress her. It's not the way you impress girls, man. Don't, don't do that. There's no riz at all with that. Well, anyhow, welcome to the channel. Day 16, or more than halfway. Wow, I thought I'd never say that in my life. <laughs> Yesterday was fun. If you guys followed that journey, we did a random Nautica session and it was pretty mind blowing. You guys remember I went to two spots and I was shitting my pants. I was genuinely concerned and was very terrified of my surroundings and things I've seen. <sighs> what I'm doing today, it's a Saturday. Luckily, Sabby is home with me and we're gonna do a little house renovation and some cleaning. I'll show you a little time lapse soon. And uh, yeah, we're gonna clean the place. I'm excited. Let's see what happens today. Bye. Welcome to day 16. Now f off and keep watching me. There's no reason to be a freaking prick. <laughs> Welcome everybody. And what do we have here? We have a kitty. Oh no. I like being on the delicate in huh? Flower girl! Hello! <laughs> my place is a mess just for your information. Don't judge people, but I will say cleaning my house was extremely tough. Why? Because as I was cleaning, I was finding a lot of old products, a lot of old vapes that I had to toss out. It really made me crave it because I guess I was working and I was just cleaning the place and maybe that reminded me of vaping. I'm not sure why. I guess it was a trigger for me, which sucks. All right. I know it's been kind of a short day today, but how am I feeling? Well, did a lot of cleaning as you can see. And I craved a vape very bad. I was cleaning out everything in my place and there's vapes everywhere I had to throw them out and it was just like so annoying that I couldn't have a hit you know but I'm here in an elevator having a conversation with myself creepy but yes I'm feeling like a disaster very bad craving insane headaches and I do feel nauseous why is it not going away someone freaking help me please but good news is tomorrow see this monstrosity of a fishing rod going musky fishing with some buds i am super excited this thing is about like nine feet fully extended right now it's like telescopic so it's kind of folded in but we got fish for some musky in case you don't know what that is you can look it up these long snake-like fish they're like pike if you know what a pike is you might know what a musky is anyhow i'm gonna go fill up on some gas and ass because gas equals ass yeah not really later but hey the good news is tomorrow we go fishing and oh boy we're going musky fishing yeah, if you know what musky is, then good for you. If not, check them out. They're ferocious freshwater fish, basically the sharks of freshwater. I can't freaking wait for it. It's absolutely one of my favorite things to do. So let's get it, baby. <laughs> the orange man is on. She on. Why do I call it the orange man? My dad would call it the orange man as a kid. I'd always start laughing. So I developed this habit of saying the orange man, which is basically indicating my gas is almost empty. <laughs> Hello, ducky, ducky, quack, quack. All right, so I'm filling up on gas. How much is gas in America where you live? Over here in Canada, it's a dollar seventy-one cents a liter. Not sure how many gallons is in a liter or how much liters in a gallon. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. But yeah, filling up on gas. I'm gonna throw out some some garbage too because we got a nice big musky day tomorrow. Yeah, we go from here. Let's throw out some garbage. And look what I freaking found. 
hiding in my car into the garbage. A <sighs> hundred bucks. The 58 liters. How much would that cost you where you're living? I have a 60 liter tank. Since we are going on a long drive tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to check my tires. I have a pretty old car, 2008 Honda Accord, so it's better safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and screw the caps and check the pressure with my tongue. 30 psi, pretty good. One of my tires was kind of low and we're all good to go. Let's start driving to my buddy's house. We're gonna get up nice and early at 4 a.m. to go musket fishing. As you can see, I'm delusional. 4 a.m. Go say hi to my buddies. Also, a little life lesson here straight from Fum Duck. Take care of your car, okay? I know I've had some ship boxes in my life, but those ship boxes could have lasted me longer and saved me a lot more money. I made the mistake of not caring about my car. Not checking the oil, not going for routine maintenance, not checking just everything that needs to be checked on a car. A regular thing that you're supposed to do. And they end up running my car into the ground. It's an absolute awful thing and it could have been prevented. My mechanic said this could have been prevented because it saved you a lot of money instead of replacing engines and doing all this crap that's completely unnecessary. So on that note, check your freaking car, take care of it because it takes care of you and gets you to places you want to be. So come on, you're supposed to help each other out, man. Come on. We're at our local pizza pizza. Which is a pizza shop in Canada, in case you didn't know. I got a stromboli, and my boy Daniel here got 20 wings and a pepperoni slice. This is what it looks like inside. So, funny story. Uh, we have one of our OG uh, pizza makers in here. Like, when I say OG, he's been here for like f***ing 20 years. Like, I'd go here with Daniel. This is Daniel. <laughs> I'd go here with Daniel, and we'd stay here till 3 a.m. like every night. I'm not even shitting you. We'd just be degenerates and eat wings eat pizza like it's just so bad but that guy's here and he's making our pizza and i'm freaking hyped maybe i can film him later you're also gonna see a dog soon named nayla and my other best buddy dylan we're going musky fishing tomorrow so we're gonna do it big baby let's go adios it may not seem that funny to you but these are one of those moments in your childhood where you just can't forget it's like a nostalgic funny feeling you get when you do something repeatedly with friends only at that time you never did it again after once you got older we would just be degenerate staying up till 3 a.m inside a pizza shop literally doing nothing it was a weird time but a fun one for sure i demoed that i'm so sorry i didn't get to show you what i was eating but daniel's still eating seeing some classic wings can't go wrong now it's time for sleepy time Ah, oh, Dylan, Dylan, I love you so much, but your dog barking needed to stop. It's freaking 1 a.m. in this clip, and we have to get up at 4 a.m. to go fishing. Musky fishing is no easy task. You gotta be casting all day and with giant, heavy, like, one-pound lures. It's a lot of work, I'm telling you. You'll see tomorrow. His dog is barking at full force, crying and squealing right beside Dylan where he's sleeping. So I can't even <laughs> imagine how he feels. He's probably plugging his ears, thinking like, holy shit, just make it stop. <laughs> Which made me laugh. I'm immature. Damn, this light's pretty good. It's pitch dark in here. Here is my creepy eye. Yeah, but in all seriousness, this light's pretty good. I'm lying on a couch right now. I don't know if you can tell. And uh, yeah, I gotta get up in two to three hours to go musky fishing. Ugh, it's gonna be a long day, but cravings suck. But I'm still surviving. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the AM. Day 16 is done. Later. I know tomorrow will be hard and tiring because of the lack of sleep, but it's gonna be a fun adventure. And we're gonna catch some predators, some freshwater fish predators. So excited for that. So stay tuned, mate. Stay tuned for this episode tomorrow, mate. Catch you tomorrow on the lake. Peace.